Okay, I'm going to run you through the uh, security development tool real quick here, give you an idea of what this thing looks and feels like. Uh, I'm in my test environment right now, so I should be able to make some changes here and there and not, not worry about it too much. Uh, when you open up AX, it's under System Administration, and uh, when you finally get it installed to your AOS server, it shows up under Setup, uh, then under Security, and then under Security Development Tool. So to uh, save you from the loading phase that it goes through, I've already got it open here. And uh, it usually opens up in this smaller window. I'll go ahead and maximize it for, for the sake of the video. And uh, as you can see up here, uh, you have a couple different options to work with in the type section. There's role, duty, and privilege. I primarily work with roles. I haven't tampered with uh, duties and privileges too much from this tool. Just really haven't had the need yet. So uh, right here in name, uh, this is actually a drop down box. When you drop down, you see the default roles that come in uh, the AX uh, setup by default here. Uh, you'll see here I've used AX to create some of my own roles just through the basic uh, tools under the security section or setup section there. Um, just as you would create uh, a regular role if you didn't have uh, this tool or anything. I don't even know that you can create roles in this tool. I think you have to create them in AX and then they show up here. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, don't know that I would rely on this tool to create new roles, but you can definitely modify them. So, uh, excuse me, let me go down to, mm, let's see, uh, let's take a look at, I'll take a look at estimations. So it's going to load up the estimations uh, permissions for the role, and uh, down here in this, uh, or over here on the left, you'll see that there's a couple different options. When you click the plus for the uh, rich client. This is what shows you all of the thick client uh, or rich client uh, menus and uh, check boxes are things you have full access to or at least some level of full access. Um, as you can see the top level check for the estimations group uh, or estimations role it, it's green and it says you have full permissions but it's only indicating that you have full permissions to one section. As you can see these little red minuses mean you have no control. So if I click the plus here you'll start to see all these minuses and then there's a green item so apparently estimations has uh, full control to online pages under sites and services etc so uh, usually what you want to do is uh, get down to the, the kind of the lowest level so this would be kind of the lowest level for sites and services and it's got a couple options under here um, you can right click and what you want to do is you want to discover the submenu items to determine if there are any submenus or any buttons and things of like that, uh, things of that nature underneath this guy. So if there isn't anything, it just doesn't do anything. Um, if I right click this guy and do a discover, there may or may not be anything. I'll try and find you one here that has more you so you can see what it looks like. So it finds extra items like this has a group underneath it, whatever that is. You can also do discovers on uh, submenu items to see if there's anything else underneath there. So this guy may have some more stuff. Um, just a matter of finding everything. So you're, you're trying to get all of the potential submenus expanded out so that if you have to give permissions, you're not just giving it to the top level item. Um, so let's, if I jump in here, if I want to give permissions just to this vendor invoice policy rule types, I can just right click this whoops, and go to uh, set entry point permissions and you see I get this one line item that's going to give them access, but if I were to give them access to this, then they only be able to get to this page because I didn't actually apply those permissions to anything underneath it. And this is going to be a bit of a gamble to see if there is any submenu items. So if I would have just given them permission to this vendor invoice policy rule types, it won't automatically cascade down to the, the, the submenu. I'd have to go into the submenu and give it individual permissions after I did the discover if I didn't do that at first. So because I've, I've done the discovery and I've you know, looked for submenu items, if I simply go up here and right click and do my set entry point permissions, it registers that you've done a discovery of all of the submenu items and will show you all the permissions for the sublevel uh, submenu items. And I can basically check this box to uh, tag them both at the same time. Sometimes you get into menus where there's just hundreds of these things and so you want to be able to check them all. And then as a bulk update, you're, you're managing this column right here for new access level. It's really just a drop down box, but this little box down here for a bulk update, if I choose all of the items in here, I can tell them all what to do at once. So let's say I want to give view access to this.
I set that, I click apply, and you'll see this column. You know, if there were hundreds of these, they all change over to view in a single shot. So from there, uh, you'd click next. And you can see that, you know, here are my permissions, just a quick summary. Uh, this is my role, this is my duty, as you can see by the tag I have at the end, and this is my permission with the tag at the end. You have to go down to the permission level uh, and right click and hit apply. And when you hit apply, this uh, area will populate with all the permissions that are sitting underneath here. Um, you know, originally you start out like so, but you want to leave this collapsed unless you have some reason to look at this stuff. Leave it collapsed because when you apply it, the expansion of this indicates that it's done applying the, per the permission. So I would click close, and now it'll update. And when you go back to take a look at the permission uh, the security development tool, you'll see that I've I started up at the top of this. I did my discovery, and it applied everything you know from the top level down underneath it, uh, all the permissions that I set. So again, if I would have if I wouldn't have done the discovery, it would have just set the permission for this top level item, and they'd probably be able to get into this area, but they probably wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, so you definitely want to do uh, the discovery, uh, you know, on as many items as possible to get it, you know, as right as you can the first time. I know they call permissions an iterative process, but you can kind of reduce that if you if you're thorough. So anyway, uh, this is what the view icon looks like, the little magnifying glass. Um, because I don't necessarily want this uh, MSC estimations role to have these permissions, I'm going to go back and take them away. And uh, you know, usually I just go back here, check the box. Uh, the default here is no access, and hit apply. You'll see my column change. Click next. Uh, when I expand out, go into my permission, right click, apply. When it's done applying the permission, the uh, information will pop out here, all the little sub items, and I click close, and it'll go back to being minus signs. Pretty slick. Um, there are a couple of other things in here. Um, I don't have this uh, set up, the open security uh, test workspace, so if I wanted to make a modification here, and uh, Let's say I wanted to see what this looks like, you know, see what the sections for policies looks like in its existing environment. Um, I could open it up and see it with the permissions that it currently has, and I could do traces, for instance. So a trace, this is this next section over here. Um, if I double-click this guy, move him off to the side. In order to do a trace to find out what permissions are what, uh, or what, what permissions are tied to a particular functionality, um, I can basically move this guy over a little bit. I'm going to tell it to, uh, let's say, let's go work to where we want to go first. I'm going to go into Home Builder, and under All Projects, let's say somebody can't access this Delete button, and they want to know, you know, I need to give them the access to the Delete button, but I'm not 100% sure how to do it. I know you can right-click and look up the forms and dig into this thing a little bit, but a quick, quick, stupid, easy way to do this is uh, click Start Recording, and no, I don't want to worry about the other recording that I've done. Go back over to your main menu, and I'm gonna actually going to do it with edit because I don't want to delete what's there. But Click the edit button, and let's say they're trying to get into the, I don't know, project wizard. And say next, so on and so forth. So let's say that's what they're trying to get into. Jump back over to my security development tool, tell it to stop recording, and it's going to post the results in this uh, preview pane over here. eventually. So maximize this guy. These are all of the items that are involved in what I just clicked through to get to that project wizard. So if I know for a fact that somebody needs full control of all this stuff, I can basically uh, check these boxes here. Uh, well, I guess I check these boxes. Maybe I can just shift and highlight them all. Ta-da! Right click, set entry point permissions. You can see this is the entire list. I can check the box, uh, blanket say full control, hit apply, now all these guys go to full control, hit next, and I'm off and running. Um, I'd walk through the rest of the process, but I don't actually want to change those permissions. At any rate, uh, to clear the results of your recording, you can just clear uh, filter on recorded objects, and you go back right back to normal. Um, I think when you click 
spend token. Yeah, I think when you click a particular menu, it's it's actually sifting through this entire list and showing you and highlighting the item that you're working with. Um, that's a plus. You'll see the entry point type. You know, I think there's like three different types. There's a menu display. Um, uh, you know, I'm at a loss here. I don't remember right off the top of my head. There's menu displays, another type of um, button, and another type of form or something like that. But um, anyway, that's uh, your entry point type. Your entry point name is listed here. Um, if, as you recall, we were talking about the SAB uh, tables or SAB fields, I guess. So here's you know, this content. Um, here are your access levels. I mean, if you know of a particular uh, permission or a particular uh, item that you want to adjust, you can just jump in here, right click, and set the entry point permission and modify. Your, uh, your permissions as I did before. So uh, yeah, there's this load additional meta button, uh, load additional metadata button that will basically uh, show this label section, and this can be very handy to have because if you know there's a label of something, and you kind of know what section it's in, um, this you you can basically do a lookup here. So let's say star delete star. And there's all kinds of delete buttons, and you can see that they each have their own entry point name. But this tends to come in really handy when you're trying to isolate buttons on the enterprise portal because you can't use the trace um, tracing utility in here for the enterprise portal. It only works for the thick client, as far as I know. I'm going to close this stuff down real quick. Um, so that that's something that you can use to track track down uh, EP stuff. Um, what else is in here? Uh, I'll show you the uh, enterprise portal section so you can kind of see that icons look a little bit different. Uh, if you take a look at the construction portal section, um, there's a couple different areas in here. So there's a home builder, uh, inspections, jobs, and purchase orders. So if I right click this guy, um, I think, I don't think there's, there's not really a discover, um, but you can do uh, the entry point permissions and, and toggle that a little bit. Uh, I know that I think the vendor portal was much more expansive. If you go under, say, reports or orders and invoices, and some of these items in here get pretty in depth. Um, the reports, vendor name, vendor home. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Yeah, so there's all kinds of things you can modify. And you know, for estimations, logging into the vendor portal, they don't really do that sort of thing. But um, just gives you a quick uh, idea of what the uh, what the structure of this thing looks like. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a buzz. Um, there's probably more to this tool that I don't know about. Um, you can find some more info. I mean, there's plenty of blogs around. Uh, definitely check that stuff out and do some digging. Like I said, uh, this thing is pretty impossible to to get your hands on the tool itself. But there's lots of documentation it seems like out there for it, uh, especially like Microsofty people blogs uh, that uh, that output all sorts of info but uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions I, I use this thing to do all of my role management um, I had originally set up I think I even set up my permissions and my uh, privileges and my duties in here uh, just to give you an idea um, I'll do this real quick just jump into one of these guys and do set entry point permissions and I'll say full control, that's fine, next, I'm really not changing anything here. But you can actually right click and do new duty and new privilege. So when I had my original role created, it was MFC estimations and there wasn't anything in here. So you right click, create a duty, and then once you create the duty, you right click, create the privilege, and then you end up with a structure like this that you ultimately apply all of your uh, permissions to your privilege. So uh, There's some good info in here, you can kind of see where things are applied. Um, you know, I, I think you'll be able to kind of determine what's of value to you and what's not. But anyway, uh, again, if you have any questions, give me a buzz.